Well, a federal judge presiding over the Gulf oil spill trial heard uh, videotaped testimony from Tony Hayward, who was the uh, CEO of BP at the time of the oil spill in the Gulf back in 2010. We only heard about a 20-minute portion of the tape uh, of, t of testimony that lasted for several days back in 2011. But in it, uh, Tony Hayward talks about uh, budget cutting uh, and said that the cuts that were made before the spill didn't have any effect on drilling operations. However, the plaintiffs suing BP uh, followed that up by playing portions of a tape from somebody who has since left the company, who was in charge of uh, Gulf uh, drilling operations, who said that he had to cut 250 to 300 million dollars from the Gulf uh, uh, operations drilling budget between 2008 and 2009. I think the plaintiffs were clearly trying to show that there's a disconnect between what uh, Tony Hayward said about the effect of budget cuts at BP and what this former executive who has since uh, resigned uh, just before this bill uh, said in terms of uh, what the possible impact may have been on safety in the, in the Gulf. And this other, uh, Kevin Lacey, this other executive uh, insisted that he never put uh, profits ahead of safety, um, but he certainly said he said felt pressure to make cuts that could have uh, affected safety. This trial is going to last for three months uh, at least, if, barring a settlement, but we're going to see more testimony from a expert on drilling who is testifying for the Justice Department. Uh, Transocean is about to uh, question him, and I think BP will get a chance later too. Uh, but he's uh, been fairly critical in his testimony uh, already about what BP did and how it drilled this well.